Hey guys, Eagle here from Team Ferocious. I'm doing my first commentary for our YouTube channel. Uh, just something a little about the gameplay. Uh, I dropped a 30 bomb, 34 and 12, I believe. It's a CTF on Dome, Team Scrim, trying to try people out. A uh, little thing on CTF on Dome, you want to push loading dock side. You push the other side, then because you, you want to you want to force the spawn into the cave side. If you have the spawn over the loading docks, it just messes up the spawns, and you can't run flags. We do an excellent job at forcing the spawn over to the cave side, and we dominate in flags. I don't even know what it was, maybe ten to one. But what I wanted to talk about is our team. We are currently we currently have three people: me. Laser and luck owns. Uh, we're looking for fourth, still looking. But I wanted to talk about our roles on the team. My role on Team Ferocious is I'm a slayer. Now, for you guys that don't know, slayer's job is to get kills. I do a great job in this match. I drop 34. But generally, my goal is to get into the 20s. If your slayers aren't getting kills, then you're probably not winning because, well, if you're not getting kills, then it's it's a lot harder to run a flag if there's uh, three guys trying to stop you than compared to if there's one guy trying to stop you. So, yeah, I'm a slayer. Laser is our OBJ. He does a great job with his UMP running flags. And Luck is a support player. We... He generally backs up laser, gets the cutoffs great. And right now we're looking for another slayer. Uh, I've, we want a slayer, so we need more kills, because killing things is it's well, how you win. I mean, in, in Modern Warfare 3, it's the best. I'm not sure. Maybe you want three slayers, one OBJ. I've, maybe two slayers of support and an OBJ will work. But you definitely want that OBJ player in Modern Warfare 3. If you just have four slayers, then it's going to take too long to run flags because it's simple as if you're running around with an ACR slate of hand, you you can't run flags very fast and you're going to get cut off if all four of your players are running slate of hand instead of extreme conditioning and an assault rifle instead of a submachine gun. So having that guy with the UMP in extreme conditioning to be able to run fast and sneak into their base is very valuable, and it's something we do a good job of. You'll notice I am running extreme conditioning MP7. I just that's my favorite class. I've, with the MP7 extended mags, there's no real reason to run sleight of hand, so I generally stick with extreme conditioning, especially for the climbing ability. On dome, the biggest thing, like one of the huge things on dome is, it's a really small thing, but it matters a lot, is that little ledge and loading docks, right, right about where I am right now, and jumping up that, jumping up that twice as fast with Extreme Conditioning Pro is super valuable, and it's going to save your life many times. As far as the MP7, it's just an all-around good gun. It, the hip fire could be a little bit better, but it's got a lot of bullets. All, all virtually no recoil. Like there's if you're across the map, you're gonna see recoil and you got a burst fire, but you shouldn't shoot the MP7 across the map anyways. So there's no big deal with it of about that. But back to the roll part of it. Like I said, we're looking for a slayer, and in Black Ops, I think the way to go was four slayers. If you look at the pro teams, the best teams, Optic, Lever, they had four Slayers. Four Slayers is how they won. Optic, both times they won, they were just slaying, especially in Orlando with Merc, Big T, Proofy, and j four of the best Slayers in the game. They were not losing. They won, I don't think they dropped a match. So... And then obviously the national championship. Next threat, while Sensor is usually a OBJ, he was slaying. He was dropping 20s. I don't know how many 30 bombs he had, but all four of them were just, just, just. It's really easy to win when your opponents can't fight back. In Modern Warfare 3, four slayers doesn't work. You need an OBJ player. It's super valuable. Especially, especially in capture the flag, 
it's it's really important. Right now it's halftime. <sighs> okay. Okay, next I wanted to talk about um what's Alright, we're looking for a fourth. I said a slayer. If you're a good slayer, hit us up. We're doing try we do tryouts almost every night looking for that good player. I got stuck with the Semtex. No biggie. Uh currently at the Slayer is the most valuable player on the team, I think. If you have four OBJ players, it's not the team is not gonna work. You're not going to win very many matches with four OBJ players. It's completely based on luck then. Because if all you're doing is trying to pull flags and run them, then you're hoping, then you're hoping that your team's going to get the cutoffs. And you have to hope that, and you have to be lucky that you're all in the exact right position. Right now I'm just holding down this back hallway while my team's waiting for the respawns. Maybe I'll talk about the gameplay a little bit more. Talk about what I'm doing now on this... There's about four minutes left. Right now, like I said, I'm meant, I'm trying to. Well, I just died there. I'll I'll talk about it when I respawn. But as you can see, we're trying to push the spawn over down towards the. On this side, you want to push it down towards the the little connection area between dome and cave. That's where you want, and then you pull up straight up loading docks. So you'll see that right now you see Excited right there just got a two piece and Laser just respawned. He's gonna push loading docks. We want we keep pushing loading docks for the spawn reason. Right now, I don't know how many flags were up, but it's something like five to nothing, and I don't even know how many kills I have, but I think I've broken twenty by now. You can't check the in-game scoreboard, and even if you could, I'm not recording the gameplay, just the sound for my first commentary. The laser will be recording the gameplay because he has an HD PVR. I don't. Right now, I'm spawn trapping them. Laser pulled the flag. He's an OBJ player, and basically, I'm completely cutting off. You see, they're spawning down in that connector area between dome and dome and cave, and we're just. I've just got the perfect cut off. I've already got two, and I think Luck got one. There's a flag cap. You'll notice, I think I'm going to push loading docks now, yeah. Laser, I think, got cleaned them up, but yeah, I'm going to help the flag out. Unfortunately, I die, so then, you know, he's just cut off. No advantage there, the enemy killed him. <clears throat> okay, usually the game, our games that we win... Our slayers, like me, I drop 20 plus kills consistently, causing us to win. We're doing really well in scrims. Uh, we could use, a, we do need a little bit more. We need, we need to improve on our search game. Our search game is good, but it's not great. A lot of the people, a lot of the teams that mainly play search and scrim search all the time are, they're beating us in search. So we're looking for some search. We need to improve our search talent. If you're a good search player, if you're a good slayer and a search, if you're a good slayer in CTF and you're good at search, uh, hit us up. We're trying to find a good fourth. It's not easy to find. Once you have three players, it's hard to find a fourth that fits in with all three of your players on your team. So you get that chemistry. Right now, I'm just waiting on the flag. We're pretty much destroying them right now. They're we're running flags and just spawn trapping them in that small area. As you can see, we pushed too far into their spawn, and they spawned uh, storage or loading docks, but no problem because I got two headshots, and yeah, they they had their backs turned, so it wasn't that big of a deal. My controller just disconnected. Hang on, I, the gameplay paused. Sorry, that's. I hope that doesn't mess up the. I'll just end it a little early, so later can. I don't get why if my controller disconnects, it pauses the game, but no biggie. I think I've broken 30 by now. That or I'm pushing 430, because 30 bombs are fun. Uh, Dome's probably one of the easier maps to get a 30 bomb on, but even it, like, I 
when I get a 30 pound, I just feel good about myself. I feel like, I, as a slayer, I feel like I've done my role. I'm sure if Laser gets three or four flag caps in a game, he feels great too. So, when I drop 20, 25, 30, then I feel like I'm doing my job there. Obviously, if we're lo like, obviously, if I'm just getting the kills, if I'm not, like, getting, if they're not, it, it depends how I'm getting the kills, if I'm not getting the kills, then, uh, like, with cutoffs and stuff, then if I'm just getting the random kills, then it's not very helpful. But, uh, the game just ended, so this is Eagle from Team Ferocious, looking for one, Slayer S&D player, hit us up. Goodbye, people. 34 and 12.